you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in celebration of Women's History Month. Our nation is blessed to have so many women who have played important roles in its formation across the country. I want to highlight one particular Renaissance woman from my neck of the woods, Tennessee. My hometown in Gallatin has a special significance for me in that it resides on the property that used to be known as the Fairview House that was eventually sold off and broken apart. One resident of Fairview was a particularly notable woman by the name of Miss Ellen Stokes Weems, and to say that she was led a notable life would be an understatement. Born in 1895, Mrs. Weems lived a long, eventful life until she passed away in 2001 at the age of 106. Over the course of her life, she marched in the Nashville Sufferet Parade, flew in an early airplane, and rode her horse into her, nine, into her 80s. Miss Weems was an avid traveler who explored the glaciers in Alaska and bicycled through France in her 80s. She even worked her own plantation farm well into her 90s. And, she wasn't, and when she wasn't working or embarking on adventures, she was giving back to our community, including giving to Volunteer State Community College, the Gallatin Daycare Center, Sumner Academy Day School, the Sumner County Public Library, among many other local organizations. I had the pleasure of meeting Mrs. Weems several years ago before she passed away. And it gives me great pleasure to be able to have the opportunity to share just a peek of her wonderful life here on the House floor. As we celebrate Women's History Month, I encourage everyone to think about a role a woman has played in our rich American history. Thank you, and I yield back.